In this video, we're going to navigate to Kali.org and we're going to want to get a Kali operating system. Now, Kali is a Linux distribution that's focused mostly on security related tasks such as pen testing, security research, some computer forensics, and reverse engineering. So, there's just some built in tools and uh, some built-in functionality that are good for these types of activities. To do this, you can click on the download link. This is what the, the web page looks like today. It may, be, it may change in the future. Or you can click Get Cali. You'll be presented with several different options of how you can download uh, Cali. Uh, the two recommended options are a bare metal where you install it as your operating system right and so you can see this will give you the installer this will give you the operating system and so you would go with uh, this one is probably the more stable version uh, there will be a weekly release where it has untested images with latest updates and then we also have an easier method. If we go back up to your, let's see, I'll go back to the home page. If I go to virtual machines, uh, this is another one of the recommended options. Using either VMware or VirtualBox, there are already pre-built images that we can download and then we can change some of the configuration later. So I'm using VMware. It's just what I personally prefer. If you're a student of mine, we should be able to get you a license for VMware Workstation Pro. Um, or you, want, you can choose to go with VirtualBox, which is free open source software. Okay, so I'm going to download this file. It takes just a minute. Now I'm going to open the file. And I'm going to extract this. And I want to move it to my virtual machines folder. Okay, so on this version, it looks like it's uh, moved my VMDK, the VMX file, which is our configuration. If you'll notice, there's multiple VMDKs. What, it, what the machine has done is it's just split the hard drive into uh, several different pieces that are um, varying sizes. Uh, but what we need to do is open the virtual machine. And so right now in my VMware Workstation Pro, let's see if we can open this. You can see right now the the machine doesn't exist, uh, so we can we can either open it through here, or let me see if we can get it to just import this way. Oh, do I have a license? Yes. Okay, so I, I double click the VMX file. I'm gonna go ahead and edit these settings. I want to give this a bit more RAM. All right, now I'll try to power it on. So I didn't have to go through any of the process of actually creating the virtual machine uh, or, or doing a lot of the, the setup that you would typically go through when you're creating a new virtual machine. The default username password is Cali Cali. So I type that in and I am up and running. So just that quick and easy, uh, you can get a uh, Kali machine running and once you're in here you'll see all the different tools uh, Kali does a great job they've been around for a really long time going back to backtrack uh, and they really group all of the tools uh, together so that you can see the different things that are available all right thanks have a great day